We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. Coming to the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. And we are set for baseball here this evening. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. The one one is laid off for ball two. One out, nobody on. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. The throw into second. That is third. The designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Standing in now, J.D. Martinez. A shot down the first baseline. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And the Red Sox are off to a one to nothing lead. That is four. The shortstop. Xander Bogart. Stepping in now. Xander Bogarts. And it's fouled away. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3-1. And this is swung on and hit on the ground to Pedroia at second. And bobbled out there by Pedroia. Throw by Pedroia will be in time, and there's your first out. In now for Cleveland, Cesar Hernandez. He's got that average up near the 340 mark to start play, so he's liable to have an impact in this one as well. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's 3-1. and one. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There now is Moreland, and he's got it for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. Second inning set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Hey, nice job to get a piece of that one. Today's game, north-south game, trying to elevate that heater and bury breaking stuff in the dirt. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Good break on the knuckle curve, but he missed with it. Two and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The 3 1.
And this is taken for a ball. He walked him. And the Sox have themselves a two-out base runner. So a runner at first with two away. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Two balls and a strike. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the big time power threat, Fran Reyes. Outside, two and one. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. to the plate now Carlos Santana two and one to the Indians first baseman fastball right back to the mound and he'll flip on to first to record the out so striding in Oscar Mercado his numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez he's just one for six here it comes on one and one I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Benintendi will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect. So he finds himself down one and two now. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's Jackie Bradley now, and he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. 1-1 one, one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now, 1-2. and two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He can. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The At the plate, the Andrew left Benintendi. 0 oh for Andrew. 1 here in the early going. Benintendi. Bases are empty, one man out. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. For the Red Sox. Here's the second baseman the second now, baseman. Dustin Pedroia. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Hey, after the double in his first at-bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Another full count pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. 
Striding in for Boston, J.D. Martinez looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Digging in now, Jordan Luplo as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now to the plate, Roberto Perez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1 1 is a ball down and away. Two balls, one strike, I count. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Jose Ramirez waits on deck. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Stepping up now, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 3-1. Runner goes for second. Devers fields it cleanly. And that's the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, Cesar Hernandez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him. To... Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. In now, Fran Moraes fouled off. One two pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. Gone. It's a grand slam. Into the box now. Carlos Santana in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired and that brings in Xander Bogarts he's 0 for 1 thus far Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone to lead off the inning. Out of the plate, Rafael Devers. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Popped him up. Perez waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So two gone now, now here in the Red Sox fourth. The right and that here. brings up the outfielder, Alex, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Oh. 
So digging in now, Oscar Mercado. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The 2 2. Hard hit ball to second. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Domingo Santana. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Ready for another chance. Jordan Luplo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1-1 one -one is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Slapped hard the opposite way. Verdugo is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. At the plate, Roberto Perez. He drew a walk his first time up. Perez. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. He's set. Here's the three and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. So here now is Jackie Bradley. Object for the Red Sox. We're in the fifth inning the here. Five-two is our Jackie score. Bradley. Up high, two and one now. Fouled away. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the exciting left handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Grounded back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. The batter number 50, second baseman, Justin. At the plate now, Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Ryan Brazier will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 70, Ryan Brazier. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. The 1 1 pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And another foul ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Heading out towards shallow right. On the run is Verdugo, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Up next to Cleveland, the second baseman. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Throw over to first, just keeping him close.
the one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three one man out now in the Cleveland fifth that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor Maddie he checks every box charisma smile hits from both sides of the plate with pop defense you name it GM's dream right here this is on the ground over to first and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw and no shot to recover on the throw to first and there are two on as we'll see how this is scored hits are now even at four apiece able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one again a one two Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. And Santana fouls one off. Ramirez at third. Lindor over at second. Reyes at first, one gone. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he finds a way to focus on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number two. The better fielder. Striding in for the Indians, Oscar Mercado. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Next will be the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He's one for two in this one. One-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. J.D. Martinez goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Now back, third baseman, Rafael. At the plate, Rafael Devers lifted out towards straightaway center field. Mercado is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Striding in once again, oh, Mitch Moreland. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Fly ball to straightaway left. Santana will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Darwin's and Hernandez enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For the Red Sox. Number 63. Darwin Digging in once again, Hernandez. Domingo Santana. He'll get the sixth inning started for Cleveland. The 2-1. I got 3-1. Three Jordan Luplo will be next. The three and one pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Onto the home run porch and gone.
Into the box, Jordan Luplo. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Line towards center field. Bradley is there, and he has it for the first out. Ready once again, now Roberto back. Perez. One run in and one Go gun so ball. far in the inning. Perez. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The third baseman. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now a big swing, and this ball is rushed out to deep center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Ryan Weber gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Weber. To the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Slide and a stop by Pedroia. Hey, now. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And that retires the side. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Alex Verdugo. He was a ground out victim last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Three and two now. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Here's the one and one pitch. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. And there are two away now. Now batting, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1-1. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the imposing power bat, Fran Moraes. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Gets him looking up around the letters. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Digging in to try it again. Oscar Mercado. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-1 one, one home. Liner towards second. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Here's a look over first. 
And he's back standing. In now, Domingo Santana. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Two and two. Two and two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. pop-up. Moreland shading to his right and that retires the side. Hunter Wood has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 44. Hunter. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate Andrew Benintendi a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Uh, could have been three and one instead it's two and two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. This is on the ground over to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in, Dustin Pedroia. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Softly on a line to third. And Pedroia's got himself a base hit. Now that the designated hitter, J.D. At the plate now, J.D. Martinez. And he fouls this one off. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Now that shortstop, Xander Bogart. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. Swung out and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. He's set. Here's the three and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Luplo is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Rafael Devers the next to bat. The third baseman. Rafael Devers. Now the one and one pitch is strike two That's swinging. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Boy that's a tough pitch to lay off right there just out of the strike zone. But listen when you're a 300 hitter you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. And to score the runner from second. Now batting, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Stepping in now, Mitch Moreland. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-2. Two -two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Another full count pitch home. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. 
He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Matt Barnes goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 32. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder, Jordan Luplo. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Settling in now, Roberto Perez. The catcher, number 55. Roberto Perez. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The third baseman. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Ramirez. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. This ball will be chopped foul. Eight runs, just seven hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Grounded to the right. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Now back, second baseman. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Benintendi coming up. He makes the running play. Two down. Into the box now, Francisco Lindor. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Up with the ball is Pedroia. On to first, and the driver held in check as the inning is over. Adam Simber comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Lifted down the line and left. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Now batting. Christian. To the plate now, Christian Vasquez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Now batter. The center fielder. Jackie Standing in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The one two. I got to two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner is breaking from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Won't go after the 2 1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Now, 
the payoff pitch home. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 8-4 tonight. The Cleveland Indians led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Shane Bieber earns his fifth winner of the year, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Eduardo Rodriguez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Eight runs on eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Red Sox, four runs on dead hit, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 29 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely.